tremendous hitter in Brian in a day and age where we're talking about launch angle, getting the ball in the air. There's no money to be made hitting the ball onto the ground. He stayed to what is fundamentally made him a really good player since he broke into the league. That graphic, those names that popped up, they're not chasing the long ball, chasing the home run. Anthony Rendon, DJ LeMahieu. We have to figure out how to get more guys into lineups. The strikeout rate, as you touched on, is alarming. Pitchers throwing with great velocity. It, it is so much easier now for hitters to go through a lineup because four or five spots in that lineup, it's swing and miss, swing and miss. This guy's a throwback to putting the ball in play. You get a pitch to hit in your zone down and in, and he can drive it out of the ballpark. These guys all have great at bats, too, and in big spots. There's a reason for that. Like we think Rendon, Bregman, Jose Ramirez, <clears throat> right? There's a reason the contact and the power. I think this puts him at another level, really. I mean, he's, he doesn't hit for the same power as Betsy, not the same player, mm -hmm. but he <clears throat> is one of those contact guys with pop. Number doesn't have the same cash as it used to, but he's a 300 hitter, right? He's a 360 on base guy. He's 33 years of age. Now, he's six years removed from his peak season, which is fairly normal. At 27, had his best year. Injuries have slowed him down. But I would love him, BK, on a team like the Tigers. I don't think he's particularly expensive. At 33, a multi year deal. Tigers. Right? He's a little better defensively than Does others. Send him to the top. Like they're rebuilding. Why would they. But listen, you get, a two or, you get a two or three year deal there. You've seen what he's done, because obviously he played for the Indians for so many years. You put him in the likes of Candelario, Goodrum, other young players built. Building AJ Hinch because you know what? Two or three years of Brantley, who's a good hitter and can help tutor some of those guys, I think it may not be a bad fit. I think he's the type of guy that goes to an elite team, right? As like in, as in the five spot because he's not the he's not your power base, right. but he's the guy that puts you over the top, which he did for the Astros. It was like just another excellent hitter that would bury you. I think if DJ LeMahieu doesn't re-sign back with the Yankees, the Yankees will be in on Michael Brantley. Hmm. Really? I really do, yes. You know what surprised me, too, is his fielding. Again, when you are plus right. 10, plus 5, it's like, because the image does yeah. not say that of Michael Brantley, because he does get hurt. He had quad injuries last year. Yeah. The guy can field and run a little bit. It's a great point. I was looking at the numbers. He's a plus defender, defensive run saved, even last season. Now, he DHs some, that is true. But if you look at some of these other left fielders available, Kyle Schwarber, Marcel Ozuna, Brantley's clearly the best defensive right. left fielder available. Right. Tigers. Well, you're looking out for the Tigers. <laughs> I didn't expect that. They, they love being the Motel. Oh, they love being. <laughs> like, oh, Brantley's bringing them in.